Hey guys, welcome to my January Owl Crate unboxing. Um, I, I I did stop my Owl Crate subscription, but I was uh, I was subscribed at three for three months at a time, so I'm getting my like last couple of them. Um, I did peek in this already because I was impatient, and it's okay. I'm a little disappointed. The book that's in here is one I already read, and I wasn't a huge fan of, so I'm probably gonna get rid of it pretty quick. Um, the theme this month was mag magical artifacts. So there's that. Um, the first thing in here is a little gold bracelet that looks like tree branches. I don't know if you can see that. Um, again, I probably will keep this. I'm not a big bracelet wearer and I don't like these, these metal ones like this because they always dig into the back of your arm. So I don't know, maybe I'll re-gift it or donate it or something. Um, the second thing in there is a wood sword that's carved like, um, oh, what is the name of Bilbo Baggins sword? Anyways, it's from Lord of the Rings. Uh, it's supposed to work as a letter opener, I guess. Uh, my son wants to use it as a bookmark, so I'll probably give it to him. Uh, the next thing in there is a pen from um, the Gilded Wolves. Wolves were everywhere. It's a very pretty pen, but again, this is one of those things where having trouble getting focus. Anyways, it's one of those things where I don't wear pins and I don't know what to do with them. I just got rid of a whole bunch of pins because, so again, that will probably be given away or be gifted. Um, there were Master of Death socks. So they have the, um, oh, I'm like blanking on everything. The, uh, the what is that symbol called from Harry Potter? <sighs> Deathly Hollows symbol on them. Uh, I don't wear socks like this, so these again will be donated. And then there is a um, pouch in here, and this is from a V.E. Schwab novel. And I'm gonna be honest, I've read one of her books, I didn't really enjoy her writing style, so I haven't read any more. But it says Kelvor, a very peculiar, or Kel Kelvor, a very peculiar coat. So I'm sure that means, you know something to somebody. It's just one of these little pouches. And again, I just got rid of like a stack of like 10 of these because you get these pouches from everything, like when you buy makeup or whatever. So I will be getting rid of that as well. As you can see, this is a reason why I'm not going to be in Alcrates anymore. Because I realized I was just getting all the stuff from Alcrates and either donating or, or whatever. Now this I will probably keep. This is a luggage tag that's got the Gilded Wolves symbol on it. It's just a nice luggage tag and we can always use, we travel quite a bit and I can always use luggage tags. So this I will keep. It'll be easy to identify my luggage with this on it, I think. Um, and then this is another one of these weird, I really don't like these weird printed things. So this is like a silk like banner or something from, uh, it says without stories we wouldn't, be human beings at all. It's from Philippoma. It's from the, um, uh, the, the Philippoma series with the animals. Why can't I remember that? Oh, uh, the Golden Compass series. Yeah. So that's that one. What do you do with this? Like, I don't even know. Do you use it as a dish rag? Do you hang it on the wall? Like, I don't know. This is another thing I'll be getting rid of because I have no idea what to do with this stuff. I just don't, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> It doesn't really fit like my house and stuff. And then I think the last thing in here is the book, which as I mentioned is The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Ch Chokshi. And I actually got this for review through Amazon Vine. I read it. I think I gave it like a four out of five. It was okay. It wasn't great. I'm probably not gonna continue reading the series. So it's got a note from the author in here. And then the book is very pretty. Um, you know, I like the little blue flowers on it. And this is all like silver and it's raised and embossed. And of course it will be signed by the author, kind of. It looks like she did like a blurry marker, marker scribbled in there. Anyways, yeah, a little disappointed. This wasn't my favorite book. And whatever. It will be taken to Half Price Books, I guess. I suppose I could like give it away on my blog or something. And then the last things in here are of course the newsletter, which shows you, you know, the original Gilded Wolves 
which is the gold one and the owl crate one. I actually like the owl crate one better. I like the little blue flowers. It's pretty. And I like the silver as opposed to the gold. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then the February theme is going to be whimsical beasts. So there you go. And this is every February box will, continue, will contain an exclusive item designed by Four Seasons Fox. So that's what was in there. Not super exciting. Um, as I said, if you like getting a lot of little weird book goodies and stuff and you like young adult fantasy paranormal, then I guess this would be a really good box for you. But they never really go outside of that. It's always the same young adult fantasy <laughs> kind of stuff. The books all seem very similar to me and they're often not very good. They're always books that are really promoted a lot, but they're not really um, exceptional. At least I don't feel like they're. And then all the little book stuff, I don't know, maybe like I'm 40, maybe it's just not aimed at me anymore. Like it doesn't really go with my house. I have enough stuff. I don't need any of this. Every once in a while, there's an item there that I really like and I think is useful. But for the most part, I just get rid of it all. So that's my January I'll create boxing. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I think I will be getting one more in February and then I will be done with them. So. I hope you have a great week and that you have been doing some wonderful reading and I will talk to you later. Bye.